guys, DJ Aaron here. Uh, yes, Carnell is doing his uh, time change show. He's about ready to end, but anyways, it is about 12.24 now, uh, my time. You know, we live in a uh, state where we don't change time, so I'm kind of blessed with not having to change clocks. <laughs> But for the rest of you that uh, rely on daylight savings, uh, I know it's kind of a pain in the ass for you guys, but, you know, uh, I guess that, that's just how it goes. But, uh, yeah, watching uh, Carnell's show and uh, having a good time. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next clip, and uh, I will discuss a little bit more about the studio and the show. Hopefully. Hmm. And this video is brought to you by Dr. Pepper. <laughs> no, guys, are just having lots of fun. So, anyways, no, I'm not going to put my camera in the refrigerator again. I've already done that. <laughs> okay, so you guys probably know that I do a show every uh every week and uh well twice a week anyways um you know i get asked a lot uh how how does everything work well it is very simple it is very simple everything works uh you know pretty much audio chain wise everything works differently and so you guys might be thinking Aaron why do you invest so much into your show well like anything else I do invest in the quite a bit for my show whether it be computers uh, audio gear etc I mean you could do a perfect show on a budget and still uh, keep things going rather perfectly well and you know like always you can you can pretty much do things on a budget and stuff you know from mixers to uh, MIDI controllers uh, to computers uh, I have two of them one is a Windows machine and the other is a Mac and I do have an old Windows PC down there but the uh, tabs broke off for the front bezel so I gotta try and fix that maybe duct tape it <laughs> but anyways I mean as far as everything goes studio wise um, the the perfect piece to my studio has to be about has to be this MacBook Pro now you guys might be thinking why did you get such a awesome machine now for my music selections you guys are probably wondering Aaron why do you have so many CDs <laughs> I collect them over time I uh, much like vinyl records I do like to collect music and it, it pretty much works well I mean it works works great you know I have my vinyl collection here and it works rather you know I have my vinyl collection right here which I do listen to quite a bit and I play these records on the show and I find it works out well when you play vinyl on a show and everything works out for the better I do have quite a bit of CDs up here sorry for the auto white balance and makes things look all <laughs> yellowish and I can change that, by the way. Um, I do have also a wide selection of mini discs. And I think I did a video a while back with all these mini discs. But these might get played on the show as well because I have, you know, I have quite a bit of uh, mini discs. And what do I use to play these on? Well, I will, you know, you guys probably saw it uh, in a previous video that I did, and I will show you. 
this is a Sony mini disc uh, player recorder you can tell because it has this uh, red button um, I've had this for maybe two three years now and it still works pretty good um, dented it up a little bit but for the most part it still works just fine I have the power adapter in a container somewhere which I'm gonna have to drag that out sometime because sometimes I don't like to use batteries and I don't want to risk using up batteries that I could possibly use when I go for walks and stuff but also if you guys uh, understand um, there's other pieces to my studio that I use as well including this Radio Shack mixer what this is used for is pretty much used for I believe the CD changer when I do use it other times I just plug other devices in and all that stuff and that goes into this auxiliary input here but uh, you know sometimes I'll just use it uh, for other source material um, whether it be cassette tape or the good old mini disc or you know another vinyl turntable which I have done before oh by the way <laughs> but anyways um, I can expand on to the setup if I really wanted to and I and I have and I still can so um, anyways that is kind of it for this video for right now uh, I really don't have anything else to say except for you know doing a studio on a budget kind of thing but uh, yeah I need to get back into videos again so I figure you know why not do a couple studio videos to get back into things and all that stuff Carnell is going to be live for another couple of minutes so I'm going to enjoy the show and I might get uh, started with editing this video so anyways that is it for this video peace out and practice and enjoy and we will see you guys in another video.